in this video I'm going to show you how to import any kind of user interface into Roblox Studio and have it scaled and properly working for any device. Let's break this down first. We're going to set up our interface for exporting. Next we're going to export our assets. Then we're going to go into Studio. We're going to upload all of our assets. And lastly we're going to set up and we're going to scale it and make sure it works for every single device. Now if you're ready, let's begin. Alright, to start off you can use any UI that you want. Just make sure all the layers are separate, as you see right here. If you don't have a UI and you would like a free one, head over to our store, link is down below. From here you can select a UI from our catalog. As you see, roleplay codes, UI, click on any, hit download. This will add your items to the cart, hit checkout. Right here you want to enter your email. And now just hit download. You're going to see a link right here, just click it and hit view. And right here you're going to hit the download button. And now you're going to open the file in Photoshop. Alright, I'm just going to use this one. So to start off, alright, so we have to see which layers can be separate and which layers can't be. So for example, if you see these buttons here, I could technically export this button together like so and it will work perfectly fine. However, since the button and the text is grouped, localization won't work in Studio, meaning different languages. So for this reason, we have to take off the text, as you can see, and export the button by itself. So we're going to turn off text right here and now all we have is the background which I have placed in a group because all this will be together in one layer as you can see because nothing here has to be adjusted. So now all we got to do is to properly name everything that we want to export. So for the background I have named it cartoon background and these buttons right here. This one will be yellow button respectively. Now I'm going to hold control, I'm going to click on all these that I want to export. I'm going to hit right click and I'm going to hit quick export as PNG. We're going to hit right click, new, folder. I'm just going to call this UI assets and I'm going to hit select folder. As you can see we have the assets right here. The background is together. Now we're going to hop inside studio. I'm going to show you guys how to import and scale these assets. We're just going to click on base plate. I'm going to hit create new. But to start off you want to make sure you go to view and you have asset manager open right here. And we're just going to go to, we're going to go to images, we're going to click on this bulk import button. You want to find your assets folder, we're just going to click, we'll just drag, select all, as you can see, and we're just going to hit open. This will upload all our assets. Alright, now you can see our assets are right here. You want to go to start a GUI, hit the add button. I'm just going to type up screen GUI. Now name this, and name it menu. The add button, we're going to type up a frame. And with this frame, we're going to go to anchor point. And to place this into, we're going to go to anchor point. I'm going to put 0.5 and 0.5. And for the position, for the X value, we're going to go to scale. We're going to go 0.5 as well. And for the Y, we're going to go 0.5. So scale goes off of percentages. Offset right here goes off of pixel values. We need scale because if we go to if we go to test device and fix the window right here on a PC 1080p. If we go to iPad, this will stay right in the middle. As you can see, iPhone, and this is how it will properly scale. So for frame, now we need to find the size of the cartoon background. So you want to open up your folder on your computer and look for the file. Now if you hover over, dimensions are right there, as you can see. I'm going to go down to size and type for the offset, 773 by 842. Now to convert this to scale, I'm going to use a plugin, it's called UI Tools version 1.4. This is the plugin, you guys can look it up. You can also use Auto Scale Lite, I believe this is free, so this is also a good option. So I'm just going to hit scale size, now I'm going to hit UI aspect ratio, and this will lock. This will lock the aspect ratio as you can see. And now we're going to go to border size pixel and change this to zero and background transparency to one. Now let's add an image label. This will be our background. So I'm going to name this background. We go to size and for both and for the scale, we're going to go one, one and offset zero, zero. Change background transparency to 1 and border size pixel to 0. Now we're going to go to our cartoon background, right click, hit copy ID. I'm going to go to image and we're going to control V to paste and hit enter. And this will change, as you can see it looks very nice. And if we take a look, let's add UI aspects. And if we take a look, you can see that this properly scales on all devices. And this is exactly 
what we want. Inside background, we're going to add the buttons. Let's go add image button and change the background transparency, border size pixel. Size is 315 by 118. I'm going to grab the yellow button, copy ID, and we're just gonna paste. This is the yellow button, yellow button, boom. Make sure to scale and add a UI constraint. And I'm gonna place this right in the center and move this up. All right, now with this button, you can either just, just copy and paste or you can use a UI list to make everything more organized. If you copy, Control D to copy, just drag it down or you can adjust the position right here, as you can see. And let's go for blue button, copy and paste. And now as you can see, this will scale on every single Advice. Now, if you guys want more advanced videos on, on interfaces inside Studio, how to use grids and lists and scrolling frames, make sure to leave a like and also comment down below. Alright, and that's going to be it. I hope you found something helpful in this video. If you have any questions, just ask away. And yeah, I hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you guys next time.